Hi, welcome. Welcome to this uh, innovative customer service training in the hospitality industries, together toward quality service. It's shortened as TTQS. So I hope you'll get used to it, uh, this word uh, TTQS. Uh, thank you very much. And I would like to, first of all, to thank the entire management team, Dar Iman, Al Hijra, and Crown Plaza, and particularly Mr. Adil Qadri Yazami. Thank you so much for this opportunity. I know this training will be distributed to all these uh, three properties, uh, to the staff, and I hope they're going to benefit uh, from it. As usual, when I start the training, I always first customize to your organization. So first of all, I would like to welcome you, everybody, from first of all, Intercontinental Dar al Hijra, Medina. Okay, and, uh, and how you put it, uh, your property there is Saudi elegance and hospitality in the heart of the city. Okay, so that's, that is like a, a subtitle of your hotel. And I'd like to welcome all of you from Intercontinental Medina Dar Iman. Thank you very much for joining this training. Modern, modern luxury meets ancient history in Medina. Okay, so you have a modern facility, but then you still, you feel like you are in ancient uh, Medina, the old Medina. Uh, Medina, which is the city that we all, all of us know the history of the city. Also, last and not least, all the staff from Crown Plaza Hotel and Resorts, thank you very much to, to join this uh, training modern comfort and traditional hospitality in the city of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So that's how you put it for the Crown Plaza, traditional hospitality. So uh, I can say that you guys, you are lucky that you are in the middle of the old hospitality, I can say in the Middle East. Yeah, you in the heart, Medina is the heart of the hospitality. You remember when Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam migrated from uh, Mecca to Medina? Well, the way he was received and the reception was fantastic. So they, what they've done, the people of Medina at that time, they exceed his expectation. You know what I mean? For him and his Sahaba, he was just going. There's no phone that time, nothing. It's just by the uh, word of mouth. Okay, someone go and check, okay, you know, they look, oh, okay, he's there, oh, someone's, he's coming or not, something like that, you know. So, but where they receive very well and uh, people of Medina are so kind, uh, uh, hospitality in nature. So I hope this training will emphasize and uh, will uh, cement it, okay? Okay, so, what is the IGH strategy, inter, Intercontinental uh, Hotel Group strategy? That, so what they say that we are focused on unlocking ways to ex execute our established and successful strategy at a faster pace and accelerate growth. Our strategic model set out our approach and is central to our commitment to delivering long-term high quality, sustainable growth in cash flows and profits. So you as a staff, okay, maybe many of these, some of them may be nothing to do with you, but uh, I just want to point out some, some wording there. That's even the top management, they put it. Commitment to delivering long-term, long-term high quality, sustainable growth without high quality to your customer, without loyal customers to your property, you will not have sustainable growth. So at the end of the day, this is coming back to you guys on the strategy of the whole uh, Intercontinental Hotel Group. What's the purpose? So the purpose of IG, IHG is we are committed to providing true, true hospitality for everyone every day. Just let's stop there. True hospitality for everyone, every day. What's the meaning? Meaning that everyone, including your work colleague, 
guest, including anybody, every day, what's the meaning of that? I have to be part of your life, to be hospitable. You just say, I'm not, I'm going to walk. And after walk, uh, you know, you just, you don't care for anybody. You don't have, uh, you know, that hospitality spirit with you. So to continue, he said, he said that our simple but powerful purpose centers on creating rich and memorable experiences and recognizing, respecting, caring for people. It extended to our guests, our hotel owners, colleague partners, and the local communities within which we work. So I highlighted their create rich, memorable guest experience. It's a simple sentence, I'm telling you. For, but from my research, I, I end up like, I need a whole day. The whole day I'll need it, maybe five more than six hours, only to tell you about this, how to create memorable experience. So it's a one sentence, simple wording, but, there is a lot for us to walk in order to communicate with another human, which is our guest, and make memorable experience. So when we, when we say that, it's simple, but actually it's taken more than, more than uh, five hours. Anyway, uh, in my training, this one, uh, actually there's a three-day training, and I, I, I just compress now to deliver online because of the current situation, pandemic, uh, COVID-19. So I offer this training as a, as a, what you can say, as a return, you know, as a, as a save hospitality. We need to save hospitality. We need to empower uh, people working in the hospitality industries. Yeah, we need to make easier for the management in during this hard time, people are motivated to have such a, such a, a empowerment. Uh, for the for the hospitality and to serve the guest, a little bit uh, uh, there's a little bit of uh, introduction about myself. Uh, my name is Hassan Al Jabri, and um, I stayed in UAE more than ten years. I work in a different uh, uh, companies, uh, from uh, semi-government to the FMB and uh, consultancy and uh, entrepreneurs, you know. So these are the logos of some of the company and hotels which I gave the uh, workshop. Uh, by the way, uh, I visited more than 150 hotels around the world uh, during, during my career. So I become a real life example of, uh, uh, of how customers interact with the hotel. I, 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 I saw there's a, there's a lot of gap there. There's a, there's a big gap of, uh, of uh, the staff uh, delivering memorable experience to the guest and of the broken links between uh, department and another department or staff and staff. There's a broken links. So through, through this uh, workshop, uh, the TTQS, it will help us to close this uh, gap. Always I suggest that you keep your mobile silent and make sure you stay in a nice place, quiet, and you start to listen to this uh, uh, conversation so that you can grip uh, fully. Uh, as uh, for the current situation, we always remind our clients and our students about COVID-19. And these are the few posters that we got it from the WHO, WHO. Uh, for us to remind ourselves. So we included this poster to this presentation and I will send you by PDF also about handling money uh, and uh, what is wrong, what is right, okay? None of us is as smart as all of us, okay? So none of us is as smart as all of us. And from this workshop, you're going to notice we are always insist of working together as a group. There's no one man show. In hotel industry, in any hospitality industry, there's no one man show. It's a chain of efforts, okay? Through the, uh, uh, our guest uh, points, you know, the touch point. 
from the booking, from the reception, going to the lift, going to the room. Uh, for now, according to this uh, latest, uh, you know, situation, and I, I and I and I'm positive sure this is just temporary. It will not stay with us forever. Even all all measure safety measure they are taking necessary is only temporary. I, I hope it will be temporary to make our guests safe. So each touch point, it's contributed to the memorable guest experience. So in the whole, uh, these three days, what you're going to learn is all these soft skills, oh, by the way. Although we don't pinpoint uh, each one, but automatically you're going to have uh, emotional intelligence skill, problem solving, leadership skill, creativity. So this is like a more than a customer service training. So have you wondered what uh, separates the best from the rest? What separates the gold medalist from the silver medalist in the Olympics? What separates success from failure? It's a mindset. It's your mindset. It's a will of doing something great. Now, we have to agree that when we work in hospitality industry, you, you, for sure that there is something in you. We need, we need to, to put all together our staff to have a, a one language of a true hospitality to our guests. So what is making it uh, possible for one person to thrive even when the obstacles are tossed their way while others simply give up? It's attitude. It's attitude is very important in the hospitality industry. When you face the customer, you have faced a different kind of people from around the world. Your attitude, it will help you to create a memorable guest experience and to turn the guest to the loyal guest. So our attitude is very important in, uh, in receiving the guest and in making sure that they are well served. So through this training, you'll be challenged to become a critical thinker, demonstrate professionalism, embrace cultural differences, display strong work ethic, and develop a positive attitude towards GMGE. Great memorable guest experience. Okay. Now, in, in this uh, video, uh, I'm going to introduce only chapter one, which is fully chapter because I'm going to introduce the TQS model. As for the remaining chapter up to chapter 12, uh, that will be in a PDF format you're going to read on your own. Uh, I will not be there, but I'll make sure that all is self-explanatory, even, even if there's a simple exercise, uh, we will keep it there. The videos and brainstorming, group brainstorming, all this is, is, is meant to be face to face. Okay, I cannot put it on the PDF. So those will take it out eh, with some other section. The, th those is mean that face to face. So chapter one is to concentrate on host, product, quality service, and guests. These are the all element of together toward quality service model. Learning objective of uh, this particular chapter one, you, after this uh, chapter, you can discuss the importance of implementing together toward quality service to TQS model in customer service. Describe the four elements of TQS model and how they are related to each other. Explain the overall benefits and learning objective of TQS customer service training. Explain why self-awareness and discovering your happiness is related to genuine hospitality. See, uh, this training, this particular training is totally different uh, from whatever you attend. It's from, from online, from the maybe major, in, major in, institute, hospitality institute, it's, it's totally different. Believe me. So you, you'll be coming to understand it's, it's, it's different. So in this chapter, I'm going to introduce to total quality service model. The service, this service model which I created myself from the researches and from the, all the content that I gather around in order to create a unique customer service and taking into consideration uh, my experience and the gap which I notice. So how I'll put all this together? Uh, the first, the whole content I put together and then I end up having this model. So I will share with you a model uh, in the few uh, coming slides. So we're going to explore the model 
benefit for the delegate and organization, learning objective, and the road to self-awareness and happiness. And I always, before moving to one topic to another, I share with you the quotes. So these quotes are motivators and inspire us. Okay, hospitality is not about visual or culinary pleasantness, but about helping heart to connect. So to add, uh, to, together to add quality service model, for the whole organization to operate smoothly, it needs the full involvement of all staff. We need all staff, all department, we need to be together. From the front office, to the back of the house, to the kitchen, to the maintenance, we need to work all together. For who? For this one customer or two customers that they are with us. Of course, there are so many, but I'm just saying that all your effort is concerned to a guest, to our guest. So your, your, your social ability is important as your actual technical skills. It is much easier to teach a technical skills than that is to change your behavior, a soft skill. Uh, we may be very good in entering the booking in the computer and busy and telephone, but our attitude and soft skills zero. We don't have a connection with our guest. The guest can come just send you busy. You don't acknowledge at least, yeah? You need to acknowledge. Oh, hi, how are you? Uh, please, uh, a moment, please. So at least the guest know that you are, he's there. You know, this is one simple example, but there are so many things happen if we don't uh, upgrade our soft skill. And that's why the aim of this uh, uh, workshop. So we are empowering the roles of you guys, okay, by learning four main sections of uh, TTQS. You are going to learn host, which is you, quality service, uh, products, which is for us is services, is the hospitality, all focusing to who? To the customer, to our guest. And why we including you? So I need to focus with you first, to check your, you know, like to, uh, upgrade you, you, you as a yourself, your skill as a professionalism and uh, as a changing of the mindset. You need to learn this in order for you to perform better. I cannot take you and put the customer service uh, cause. It's all about how to handle complaint, how to interbooking, how to do the survey, how to feedback. No, we can do that, I know. But for you to be the best of the best, and you remember our, our IHG, our, our intercontinental uh, hotel group uh, strategy and purpose to make what? Ex uh, 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 exceptional experience, memorable experience. Now you cannot make memorable experience to anyone if you don't understand yourself. So it means that th these skills are very important for the years to come resilience, flexibility, emotional intelligence, creativity and creative thinking, continuous learning. You think only that supervisor and manager, they, they, they have to learn this? No, all of us in any position. And that's why I, I believe I include uh, uh, some topic will be surprise you. You know, in this together toward quality service, uh, the training is like uh, at one point to reach us, why Hassan is teaching, why? Why this Hassan is, uh, he wants us to learn this, why? You know, you, it, I know it will come a question, but honestly, believe me, you need it. At the end of the whole workshop, you're going to appreciate why I, I introduced to you. So it's to, for all of us to talk scaling your professionalism, to relate between ancient and model hosp modern hospitality, introduce to modern quality methodology, how to measure the quality service, into inducing, realizing yours and customers' moment of truth. Your moment of truth and a guest moment of truth. Okay, here our model, okay? So as you can see there, it's starting with you, starting uh, with qu also quality service, and you can see a product. All of them are focusing to who? To the guest. Now you as a host, you'll be much easier to learn quality service if you know all of this. Paradigm shift, professionalism, moment of truth, 
okay creating customer centric culture so you will be very easy to know your product to know all this to learn or if you know or if you know yourself you like it in short if you you love what you do in return you return back to the guest whatever you learn here quality it will go back to the guest product as long as you know where this hospitality originated why you are there you come back to the guest and what the guest will do the guest we need what we need to learn type of guest economy experience we need to understand them also uh, this covid you know change a lot of things maybe a little bit change but i hope there's no major change of our guest okay there will be there will be small changes and uh, some expectation from us which we are taking care of now the like cleanliness of the hotel you know sanitizer this we we can change that very easily but my main point here is connect i need that connection okay to remember our hotel so the guest they'll have a what you know like free marketing expectation exceeded you know and we uh, will have will at the end they became a loyal customer if you concentrate now on the host side paradigm shift professionalism moment of truth this are all in the topic in the chapter each chapter we're going to discuss this on the quality also uh, this is maybe after chapter 5 or 6 we have seven or nine chapter i think we're going to learn more about five dimension of quality okay you need to learn all this and by the way it's a, it's a huge topic but i try my best to keep it simple okay and then product you need to learn uh, where the hospitality came from why hospitality the difference between hospitality and the service don't confuse about that so this will help you to become even much better and then the guest type of guest uh, economic experience okay and uh, overall what's the benefit you're going to gain for, for you and for your organization so you help taking care and solve customer concern in a professional manner uh, we're going to lead to increase the customer satisfaction enhancement confidence and knowledge contributes to a happier more productive workplace these are the benefit uh, also you transform your skill to be part of customer centric culture learn how to elevate the level of hospitality and consistently superior services in in enrichment in self confidence increase number of repeated guests when i say customer centric culture here you are going to realize that you need a a good teamwork okay from the top management to down level okay so between housekeeping and the front office between housekeeping and the maintenance between back of the house and you know all this is a customer say so all we are focusing on our customer if i call there's something wrong in the room we expect to the maintenance to take immediate action if you become busy you don't follow up and then they don't they don't go on time the customer will complain to you so your your job of taking care quickly the concern of your guest about his room the maintenance department let you down see so it must be a, a good coordination so learning objective also uh, at the conclusion of the training a delegate should be able you should be able to demonstrate in depth knowledge about the origin of hospitality from regional to middle eastern hospitality culture distinguish between hospitality service increase performance in all major service <coughs> customer service hospitality soft skill <coughs> sorry any hospitality professional these are the skills that they must possess if you any one is weak here you need to search it you need to learn more empathy problem solving teamwork strategic innovation strategy and time management okay also you're going to identify the, the importance of professionalism and positive teamwork effective uh, business etiquette elevate the level of quality service by using five dimension of self qual model you're going to know the self qual model the self qual model now is not for the marketing people anymore 
I'm going to empower you. I, go, I want you to know about it. Yeah? <coughs> also achieve, oh, hold on a second. Actually, my my laptop is running out of battery. I have to. Okay, so sorry about that. Also, you're going to uh, resolve queries, relevant information. Okay, positive on a positive note, and then uh, at last and not least, moment of truth opportunity. See, for yourself and for your guest. I don't claim to know everything. I claim to be a seeker of knowledge. When, uh, when Adil contact me, I know that he was seek of knowledge. I know that he knows, I know. They, you, might, you guys, you know, maybe better than me. But maybe I don't know something. Maybe I need to, to know more. You know, when you seek a knowledge, you don't pretend that you know everything. Nobody knows everything. So I'm going to learn from you, you're going to learn from me. And if it was this meeting face-to-face, uh, -face, you know, in the workshop, uh, actually, I learn a lot from, from my students. So the power of your energy, spirit of loving, kindness, compassion, and heartwarming care is the path through great memorable guest experience. Without this, you'll fail to catch the heart, okay, to connect with another person. I have a good example here, a real life example. And, uh, and, 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 and <clears throat> this is how when I conducted the training, I always gave the, a storytelling. And uh, this is the real life, not the story. It's about uh, this multimillionaire, Kenneth Yugini. He, is, uh, he was an American real estate developer, also former owner of the National Football League Seattle Seahawks. He's a, he's a, he's a multinational uh, you know, uh, team, founder of Wheelchair Foundation. Okay, what is story? Well, his story is that um, with all whatever he has, he not feel happy. He, he feels something missing in his heart. So he, he passed through different stages of his life. So the first stage was like, okay, let me buy houses, a car, maybe I will be, I'll be happy. He filled the garage with a different kind of cars and model. He, he did not. He went to the second stage, maybe better stuff. So he bought better houses, you know, better cars, you know. So he still did not feel happy. Something is missing. Okay, let me try different stuff. Maybe if I sponsor, or maybe I, I buy Seahawks, see. You know, Seattle Seahawks is a, is, a, is a major, is a, you know, like a very well-known uh, football club in uh, in USA. And he bought it, but still, still he was, uh, he didn't, he didn't feel happy. With all the famous, everybody knows him, you know, when you own such a club, everybody will know you in the country, but still something missing. Anyway, one of his friends one day, he said, uh, Kenneth, let's go to Europe. What to do? No, let's go to Europe. Uh, we are distributing uh, something there to the needy. So, okay. So he went to, the, to Europe and they went to this function. And the function is like uh, they're distributing the wheelchair. And uh, he was handing over one wheelchair to one boy. is a South American uh, origin, around 10 years old, maybe 11. And he sit there. So they're about to leave the, the boy, uh, hold his hand. Okay, and had a look at back, you know. So why is holding my hand? I said, sir, sir, let me just look at you. So what? Yeah, I need to look at you so that I can remember you because I already thank you now here. I want to thank you in heaven. You know, if you don't meet again and you pass away, so at least I want to remember when I thank you again when we meet in heaven. So it touch him. You know, such thing is really, really touching. And that's why he, he changed completely and he, he started the wheelchair foundation. He invest all his money in helping the, you know, 
anybody, anybody who cannot walk or, you know, they lose their legs, all around the world. And he was a very happy man. Okay? So self-awareness and happiness is very important. So you can do good things to others. So making others happy by showing loving, kindness, compassion, heartwarming care is the fastest way to infuse your life that of others with authentic love and joy. So this is what the genie and hospitality aims to do. So that's why I gave you this example. Because it's combined all this warm heart, compassion, you know, so this is the only way. So say I, I, <laughs> this is the, a good example. Learning gives creativity. Creativity leads to thinking. Thinking leads, uh, provides knowledge, and knowledge make you great. So we are here to make you great today. Anyway, so for, for module one, so I'll now explain the whole, the whole process, how it is, okay, of this training. Now, this, the, the introduction is over. Okay, of our TTQS model. So chapter one, as you see, you already introduced you, host, guest, product, and quality service, okay? And chapter two, this is only model uh, one. You, you learn about ancient hospitality and you're going to connect the dots, how it's related to our present, that is fall under product. Again, under product, you're going to explore hospitality, the, the difference between services and hospitality. <laughs> chapter four, you're going to know more about your guest, okay? So you'll be, you'll be in a better position how to exceed the expectation. Now as we move to module two, okay? We have chapter five, uh, the four E of experience, very important. Is a, is a, you can say is a topic that you need more attention, but I, I try to reduce a lot to make it easier for you guys to understand. So that is, we, we want to know more about guest and customer here. You see this one. As chapter six, exceed guest expectation. We're going to learn more how to exceed our guest expectations. Chapter seven, professionalism in hospitality industries. How for us to be professional. And the chapter eight is about paradigm shift. So this is a totally different that I include in this chapter. Why paradigm shift? What is this? You know, so is it, is it, is it, you're going to know more because this is this is the host. You see, in the two ks you you is about you. Okay, if you understand paradigm shift and the power of a paradigm shift, you'll be much more better in serving the guests and making a memorable experience. Okay. Now, module three, which is the last module, it contains chapter nine, Rater, R A T E R service quality. So you're going to know what is Rater, and we teach you the methodology how to measure your quality service. Chapter 10 is handling guest complaint, is about host and guest. Chapter 11 is a great memorable guest experience. We're going to find out how, uh, with, a, with a real life example we have, how we're going to relate it to your situation. And then chapter 12 is moment of truth. Okay, how we are uh, in our workplace, we feel, and our team, and the management, and, and the whole the whole setup, and the moment of truth of for our guest. So, end of chapter one. This is end of chapter one, by the way. The next step is you for chapter two. I have a separate presentation in PDF, in PDF format. So, it's already will be sent out with this uh, presentation. And then uh, you can have the access video presentation from each chapter from our YouTube channel. So I will insert the link in that PDF because when you read in the PDF, if I post a link, if you click, you can go. So after you see the, you go on the chapter two and chapter three and all the other chapter, I will insert a link to the, uh, uh, directed you to the video because I, I each chapter already recorded Okay, for like this now, what I'm talking to you. So you're going to access from our YouTube. And then you are free to join our uh, Telegram, Innovative Customer Service, you as a student. The Telegram is same like WhatsApp, but have a more feature. Even up to 200,000, um, 200,000 years, 200,000 people that can join in one group. And uh, we can post, you know, reference, you can have any question, ask me, 
I can reply to you, okay? So thank you so much. And that is uh, my uh, contacts and I appreciate it. I hope, uh, uh, yeah, this is the icon here. If you click here, when I print this in PDF, you can get access. You can go to my Twitter, LinkedIn, you can connect with me, LinkedIn, WhatsApp also. We have a hospitality deep dive WhatsApp group. We have so many hospitality professionals there. Okay, so thank you very much. And uh, I hope you'll enjoy this course, but please pay attention. Don't be busy, just so when you relax, you are quiet place, you can start to read our training. Thank you very much.